Here we are looking at our toilet. And uh, the reason for that, as you can see, we got a broken hinge. I went ahead and glued it just so there wasn't a jagged edge sticking up while I have ordered a new soft close lid. And the problem is, is that this hinge, which is supposed to, you know, slowly go down gets to about right there and then you just can't so I think uh, using leverage I mean pushed on the pushed on the lid and it just cracked that hinge off so I read online that this is a frequent problem so when I get the new lid I'm gonna go ahead and swap it all out and I'm probably gonna keep the guts from this side which is the soft close portion of the the seat just uh, another thing to have to deal with occasionally, though. Ah! Cheapest place I could find it. A new replacement was on e-trailer. Dun, dun, dun! So as I mentioned earlier, I did a little bit of research. Found out the cheapest replacement was from e-trailer. You know, over the years, I've bought quite a bit of stuff off of e-trailer. Generally speaking, we go through Amazon, but it's, it's smart to shop around. This same seat on Amazon was almost a hundred bucks. I think I paid $63 plus tax off of e-trailer. Um, it's going to be an easy replacement. It's literally just a screwdriver and a couple of bolts. So what we got to do is we just have to pop off these two little cover plates to expose the, uh, the screws that hold the whole assembly down. just going to hold the bottom and unscrew these nylon fasteners that's what the bottom one looks like do this one oh I unsecured it so this top piece which you can see is just a cover we're going to just lift that off I slid it back there we go and that just I'm gonna set that aside because we got all new parts and being me <laughs> I'll probably keep these who knows why and take the lid assembly right off and uh, we'll go get the new one all right so we've got the new lid assembly lid and seat assembly Basically, we just need to line up those holes, kind of get that where it needs to be, true up the seat, and then put the new hardware in, new shield, of course it covers that up, and, and we'll put the new, what, that was convenient, got our new fasteners. So now we got our new fasteners, which are going to slide down in here. I'm going to set this down right here. What you don't want to do is cross thread these nylon fasteners. Before we tighten those up, let's true this up a little bit. And then snap our caps back on. Ta-da! Well, that ought to make Angie happy. No more broken toilet lid. <laughs> well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know, give us a thumbs up. I will put a link in the description below to the part number for that uh, lid assembly. That I ordered off of e-trailer. If this is your first time here, you know, click that subscribe button and follow along with our journey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road.